All engineering projects start in the same way, with a problem that needs to be solved. This is especially true for a local marvel of engineering known as the Erie Canal. In this case, the basic problem that needed to be solved was how to move people and goods across an area spanning from New York City to the Great Lakes. The solution was a waterway, or a canal, that would connect the two. However, while this was an effective solution to our problem of moving people and goods, there was another problem engineers would face. Water can't carry a barge uphill. So, how can we help our boats travel from one place to another with a higher elevation? The solution that canal engineers designed for this problem is called a lock. Not like a lock on your door, this lock helps to control water level. Now, I've 3D printed this lock model here and these cute little boats so that I can demonstrate to you how this works. Let's take a look. Locks work by having two gates one on the upstream side and one on the downstream side. The gate on the boat side is lifted to allow the boat to enter the lock. Then it closes behind it. A sluice, a small door that helps to control the water level, is open to raise or lower the water level to the level of the water where the boat is heading. Once the water is level, the other gate will open up to let the boat continue on its journey. If you have a 3D printer, you can make this model at home. I printed my model using some multicolored PLA, but you can try using other materials. The instructions are available below in the caption of this video. Special thanks to IOMA for their water lock model found at Thingverse.com. Thanks for checking out the engineering behind the Erie Canal. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Have a great day.